Hey, real quick introduction. This is Zach with Survival Summit. He's usually behind the camera, but I'm bringing him forward so he can taste and feel what it's like to actually have a tourniquet placed on his arm and kind of show you guys what that feels like with his facial expressions. <laughs> a couple points that I want to make about tourniquet use. You know, the, the old conventional wisdom of these are a last resort is, has been out the window for over a decade. Uh, sometimes this is absolutely necessary and it's absolutely what you need to do. Uh, so if you learn that way in kind of the old conventional wisdom, you know, the, the key point that I want to make is it's, it's more important to stop the bleed and preserve life. And that's always going to be more important than preserving the limb. Um, you know, go have a beer with me later with only one arm at the bar rather than bury me with both arms, if that makes sense. Uh, so with that said, when you're placing this tourniquet on somebody, even yourself, it's gonna be extremely painful. You're crushing tissue and constricting blood flow. Uh, so, and this is only gonna be on for a little bit, so no concern for his, uh, his, his health or safety whatsoever. But I'm gonna use the RevMedics, the TX2 on this because it's very easy for me to operate mechanically. Uh, and I'll be able to still check his pulse because he doesn't have an actual active bleed. When this pulse stops is when I'll stop cranking on this tourniquet and you just enjoy it. React however Sounds you would. Good. I'm gonna place this on. I'll put it up nice and high and get it as tight as possible before I start cranking on this. All right, so I've got all that slack out. Let me find his pulse real quick. You a little nervous? A little bit, <laughs> a little bit. You got a racy pulse. Yeah. There it is. All right. So let's see how many clicks it takes. Plus two. So it's going to be painful because you're crushing those muscles against the bone. I've still got a little bit of a pulse here. Damn it, pulse. Oh. A little bit more. Now, I definitely have slowed the bleeding at this point. All right. So that's. That's an absent radial pulse right there, right? So that's about how tight it needs to get. And this is going to be painful. I actually don't know how to take these off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> these are going to be painful. But what you don't want to do is listen to them if you're putting this on another person. Yes, it hurts, but I'm trying to save your life. I'd rather you be in pain than in no pain because you bled out 30 seconds ago.